Now this is the humongous fig I've always talked about. So brace yourself for this monstrous of monstrosity of a hugest fig tree you've ever seen in your whole life. Because I don't think I've ever seen any other fig tree bigger than this all my life. And I mean it's humongous. I don't know if there's even a way to get the scale of it, but hopefully be able to do justice to and uh there's uh they put out little fence in it now though but you can see like this thing covers a huge area it's like unrealistically huge and i think it has figs in it too so you can see what's coming up on it so i mean this thing is huge huge <laughs> this thing is a monster I mean this thing is as big as you can you could fit in there standing and get lost in the roots that's how big they are I mean it's humongous you know and look at that like that is and you know and that's been cut too that thing is uh, ridiculously huge. You know. Ridiculously huge here. It's a Montecito. Yeah. And Chapala. But look at that thing. I mean, like that thing is huge. I couldn't wait to come and just touch it again. It's like a rhino trunk right here. I couldn't wait and come and touch this baby. But, <coughs> I mean like this thing goes and goes and goes and goes. Like if there is a play tree, climbing tree, like it's about five feet tall here. Even there, it's like, this thing is huge. I mean, it's huge. <laughs> yeah. So, I want to take pictures of it and uh, take videos of it. And, and here's the monstrosity that I've talked about. I have to go like penning further out there just to try and capture the whole monstrosity of it. That's my buddy over there that I made friends from from New York. His name is William. So it's kind of interesting because it's uh, like Willie, Willie Coyote that I knew from New York. They are very similar too. I guess they make them the same way in New York, I guess is the way they say, right? Oh, and I think he has the plaque. In 1876, a visiting sailor presented the seedling to Mariton Bay fig tree uh, of this Mariton Bay fig tree, Ficus microphilia, to a local girl who planted it in 201 State Street. When the girl moved away a year later, her friend Adeline Crab relocated the sapling to the location before you. This Australian immigrant tree has grown to one of the largest Moriton Bay fig trees in North America. Oh. It has been designated a city landmark and placed on the California Registry of Big Trees in July 1997. The circumference of the tree at the time was four and a half feet above ground was 498 inches or 41 and a half feet. The average crown spread was 176 feet and the total height was 80 feet. For your own safety and for the health and preservation of the tree, please enjoy the tree from the area beyond the protected area. Do not climb over or carve into the roots of the branches. Oh, I didn't read that. I read it after. I already been in there, but 
I was here before they put the... <laughs> anyway. <laughs> you got the yeah. audio, yeah. Yeah, we are going the audio, and my buddy here from New York. <laughs> formerly. Oh yeah. Formerly. Oh formerly. Well, I like that. Formerly from New York. You're, you're, you're yeah. get a shot of me. I will. Okay. Back up a little yeah. bit. I'm not telling you what to do. Oh, I'm still recording. I'm still recording this. I'm still recording it. Yeah, actually that's pretty good because then we can compare with you because I'm still recording it. Wow, there's a car coming. Oh, two cars. So I better watch. Yeah, I think we got plenty of them. Hey, it looks like somebody here is doing something, trying to grow a tree. Someday, I would grow that. <laughs> yeah, I don't think that will happen though. But, that's that. So, as you can see, like, I mean, that tree is... As you're ready for yourself. One of the hugest trees you're gonna find in North America. I mean, it's a monster, a monster, a monster. That thing is... And now there's figs on it too. So actually, I could take those seedlings, or this fruit, the seed, and send it to all around the world for other people to grow. And in quite some years, you can have a tree like this. So, uh, you know. Send your requests. <laughs> we'll make it happen for you, you know. So it's the beautiful Santa Barbara. And uh, I can't wait to go to my spot and this time take new pictures, make videos. And I've, I have a lot of people requesting all kinds of things. So I can't wait. So anyway. From Santa Barbara, California, I shall catch you on the next one. Oh, there's actually this train here too. We got to capture that. Might as well since we are here. Capture it all in one go. All right, till this car goes. Which I capture a little more of these figs. Look at that beauty. Like that tree is unreal. It's a historical rail car. Please keep off. So. Uh, Southern Pacific Santa Barbara so, and the moon is out too so you know the ground we came with and uh, beautiful Santa Barbara so out here there isn't other than the fig tree for now there isn't anything as a uh, picturesque or is it picturesque picturesque <laughs> anyway there's uh oh you can see the ocean way out there so the ocean is there it's not that far so we're gonna be having a good time so anyway yeah it's a whole different uh scenery out here and uh i just love it out here perfect the weather is just right not too hot not too cold just right so really so anyway 
There's a lot to see. There's a lot to see. So, and I uh, will catch you on soon because really the beach is just right there. So, and there is the monstrous fig tree. And, uh, Yeah, there's a hostel down there that uh, it's perfect for our uh, oh, seats right there, actually. Let's see. Uh, I don't know if you'll be able to be visible. I can't see it as good because of the sun and the glare and the reflection and my phone's dimmed out. But I'm pointing in that same direction. And, uh, yeah, I have a lot of... Uh, that's a lot coming. So, thank you for being there and sticking around and following and uh, being part of. I'll have some great stuff.